hi everyone welcome back to my channel a monk in cloud so in this channel we are going to discuss anything and everything related to your cloud computing so it can be aws azure uh, and gcp as well and we're also going to talk about some of the devops tools like jenkins your uh, docker and a lot more right so if you're visiting the channel for the first time please consider subscribing turn on the notification and let us learn together and explore the devops world in today's video we are going to look into how to configure and run jenkins in port 80 that is http so for that you need to use something called as reverse proxy so we have multiple web servers i am going to use apache as my web server in this case okay so if you do not know how to install jenkins i have made a separate video on installing a jenkins on your ec2 instance go ahead watch that video and come here okay so that is also here i'm uh, you know updating the same document here okay so this is the second part on how to configure and run jenkins behind apache reverse proxy okay so first things first so after you have your uh, jenkins you will have to update your system so first let me show you so this is my jenkins server and uh, this is my uh, public ipv4 address so as you already know our jenkins server will work on port 8080 so you need to allow that in the security group i have done that okay so this is my jenkins if you see here 3.91.149.77 colon 8080 so if you go back to ec2 instance this is our public ip right so this is working fine so and if you also want to check if jenkins server is active or not you can connect to that ec2 instance so i am using ec2 instance connect i'm just going to run sudo system ctl status and jenkins okay i'll hit enter if you see here my jenkins is active and running since 17 minutes okay so that confirms that our jenkins is installed right now but the problem is it is working with this public IP address and no one wants to disclose their IP address to the internet, right? So, and also we have port numbers uh, to remember this is really difficult. So what you have to do, you will have to configure your own custom domain for your Jenkins. So the domain can be Jenkins dot your uh, cust your custom domain.com or it can be your custom domain.com slash Jenkins, right? So it can be anything. In my case, I am going to use my own custom domain. So it is a monkin cloud.ml. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let me open up my notepad. Okay, so I'm gonna just so to this, I'm just going to add Jenkins dot a monkin cloud.ml. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to do today. Okay, for this to happen, I need to install something called as Apache 2 web server. Okay, for that, I have given all the commands here in this GitHub document. So you can come here and you can run these commands. And remember, the, uh, the platform that I'm using, the Linux platform is Ubuntu. So these commands that you're seeing, it is going to work only with the Ubuntu okay so i'm just going to copy this one so if you see here first it is updating the system and then it is installing apache 2. let me copy this one and paste it in my instance okay i'll just hit enter so this is going to install our apache 2 okay so once it is done let us see if it is uh, installed or not all right now if you see our apache 2 is installed and it confirms that okay let me clear the screen for you let us see what is the next command so the next command is to enable proxy proxy http and headers module so if you want to act your uh, apache as a reverse proxy you need to enable these things to enable you need to run these commands sudo a2e mod proxy proxy underscore http and headers 
so these are the modules that enables your apache to work as your reverse proxy okay or proxy so i'm gonna copy this one so i just copy this one and i'll paste it here in my ec2 instance i'll hit enter okay so that means it is confirmed right so it is asking us to restart the uh, apache 2 we'll do that eventually okay so before that what we have to do is uh, we will have to edit our apache 2 configuration file so our when you install apache 2 right so what happens it is going to download some configuration files so every application has its own configuration files and our in our case apache 2 it has got its own uh, configuration files in this particular path slash h apache 2 slash sites available in that we'll have default configuration file so instead of using default file we'll create our own one called jenkins.conf so the name can be anything okay but it should end with dot conf okay first let us restart our uh, apache 2 first okay let me copy this command let me quickly copy that and i'll say sudo and i'll paste that command Okay, so that restarted our Apache 2. Let me clear the screen now and let us run this command now. Okay, so I'll first go to this path. Okay, I'll just copy this one and here I'll just say sudo and I'll just paste this path. Okay, uh, I think I just need to type in cd. Sorry, I thought it is a normal command cd and that path. Okay, so you don't need to enter sudo. I thought uh, it is for system CTL restart, so you don't need sudo here. Okay, so if you see right now, I'm in my in this particular path. Okay, so let me clear the screen first and let me type in ls hyphen lrt to show you what are the files that we have. If you see here, we have got some default configuration files. So this is for default SSL. If you have uh, SSL certifications, certificates, you can go with this one. If you just want to go with con default conf files, that is also fine. Okay. Now what we will do is we will create our own uh, configuration file here. Okay. Instead of uh, altering anything in this one. So we'll just go ahead and create our own configuration file. To do that, just uh, type in this command sudo vim and Jenkins cough. Okay, so I'll just paste that one. You already know, right? So vim is a text editor in case of Linux. Okay, so to enter into uh, insert mode, I'll just pr press uh, I on my keyboard. Okay, and here if you see, this is what you have to add in that particular file. Okay, so if you see here in server name, you will have to add your domain name okay and proxy you, you these details are default so you don't have to change anything here okay but make sure wherever your domain name.com is there you replace it with your domain name okay so this if you remember we installed this module proxy pass proxy reverse so these things we installed and basically this application is running on port 8080 so what we are doing is we are mapping with this local host basically the um, uh, ec2 ip address along with port 8080 is mapped to your domain name that is what we are doing here okay so that is what we are uh, allowing right so here in i'll just copy this one let me copy this to a notepad okay so to make you understand i just copied that one instead of your domain name right so you just type in this uh, domain so this is my domain name i'm just gonna paste that here okay so wherever you have your domain name.com just paste that here okay in if you want slash jenkins that is also fine like make sure to add a proper domain name here okay so else it will fail okay so let me copy this quickly okay so that is fine because apache 2 runs on port 80 so we are using 80 here okay so that is what uh, it indicates let me quickly copy this one and i'll go back to my ec2 and i'll just paste these things okay make sure you paste it correctly click on escape colon wq exclamation head enter okay that is all okay let's see what is next so after that is done you will have to restart your uh, you know jenkins apache 2 and all those things okay so let me quickly copy these commands and i'll just paste it here this is going to just restart all your machines once again
okay that is done right so next let us see what is uh, the next step so next thing is to configure the firewall so basically uh, we need to allow ssh we need to allow http we need to allow https okay so let me copy this quickly i'll hit enter okay the rules are added okay next let us see what needs to be done now we need to enable the firewall by passing the following command so we are allowing this firewall ufw means ubuntu firewall that's all so we'll just enable that one okay let me paste it here and that's all i think uh, we need to be a root user let us go uh, become a super user and i'll paste the command once again and i'll hit enter okay so it is saying that it is uh, going to dis disrupt your existing ssh connection i'm okay with that i'll just say yes and firewall is active and it is enabled right so now one part is done but if you go ahead and browse this link right so let me copy this one and i'll paste it in my browser so basically if you paste this one you should get a response from your jenkins just like this one right let's see if it is working it is not uh, i have not installed any uh, certificate so i need to make sure that i need to pass uh, http here okay http colon uh, slash slash jenkins dot dot com okay so i'll just hit enter if you see it is a refreshing and we are not getting any response the logic is very simple so we have our domain name but we have not routed anything right so for that we need to make some changes in route 53 okay let me go back to my aws ec uh, aws console in aws console just search for route 53 open it in a new tab okay so here click on hosted zone Okay, here I already have this uh, monkincloud.ml hosted zone. Okay, first let me delete this one if possible. We'll recreate it once again. Okay, I'll delete it. I think we are unable to delete it. Okay, so what I'll do is first things first, I will uh, delete these things first. I'll uh, delete the records first. So later on, I will be able to work on it. delete it okay now let me go back I'll just say delete zone I'll confirm delete now it will be deleted okay now we are we do not have any hosted zone so under route 53 come here to routed zone and click on create hosted zone provide your domain name okay so this is my domain name I will copy that one okay so i'll come to hosted zone i'll paste it here in the description also i'm going to paste the same public hosted zone because it is it needs to be publicly routable so i'm going to access, uh, access uh, in the internet so i'll give public hosted zone and click on create hosted zone okay this is going to create name server and soa for me so we have four name servers and one soa right so we need to map this uh, name servers in our uh, you know domain name uh, provider okay my in my case i am using free norm so here i need to come here to name server under management tools we have something called as name servers so i already had uh, some uh, name servers i'll delete that and i'll add the new things that we already have here okay i'll just copy these things and i'll paste it one by one you also do the same thing and ignore that last period at the end if you copy that it is not going to work right so i'll just paste the third one and i'll get the fourth one here sorry get the fourth one and i'll paste it here okay i'll just click on change name servers okay so it is asking me to sign in let me sign in okay 
so now uh, after logging in so all the name servers uh, entries that we made is mapped here okay so next we need to create some records for this one okay so to do that let me go ahead and click on create record okay we need to create first a record okay so basically a record will map your ipv4 address to whatever the domain name that you have so our domain name is jenkins dot cloud dot ml right so basically i need to provide the same thing here i'll just say jenkins i think a period is already there here if you see here dot is already there you need not provide dot here okay so make sure you are entering the right value after that you need to provide your value here what value will you give you need to provide your public ip of ip v4 address of your ec2 instance okay go to your ec2 console copy your public ip v4 address and paste it here okay let me do that okay so make sure you are uh, not entering any white spaces extra white spaces and all give that and click on create record okay so that is done so one record we have created jenkins.amonkincloud.com let us create another one so i will tell you why another one so here if a user just goes and uh, types in www.jenkins.amonkincloud.com in that situation also it should work so i'm going to uh, create another a record okay so i'll click on create record okay so we have added two entries now okay so now if you go back to your page so jenkins dot a monkey cloud dot ml so if you refresh the page you should be getting a jenkins console or a jenkins dashboard so it will take some time to map all the things so uh, after some time you will get a, a response from your jenkins okay so also before doing that make sure that you have added an entry for your http right so if you see here uh, in my security group i have added port 80 right it should work now okay so let's give it some time for the dns mapping after that you should be able to see your jenkins dashboard if you type in jenkins.amonkincloud.ml okay so let's wait for some time now let us refresh the page once again i waited for almost 5 to 10 minutes okay let's refresh the page and see if jenkins is working fine or not see we are getting a welcome page from jenkins right so if you see this is what our uh, you know what is this our custom domain right so jenkins.amonkincloud.com so i had uh, given a username B when i created uh, jenkins when i installed jenkins i added a username so I'll, i'm going to provide the same thing here let me sign in okay if you see this is my jenkins dashboard so you are you are not using any port number port number 8080 or something you are directly using your custom domain right so here also you will you you can also access this with this one and you can also access with this custom domain url right so this is what i wanted to explain in this video i hope you enjoyed learning along with me if you are liking the content that I am creating, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.